afternoon, everyone, or morning, evening, whatever you're watching the show. Hey, my name is Callie, and this is the All Brand Show. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in today. So we have a really awesome show for you guys today. We will be doing not one, but two giveaways. Yes, two giveaways. And we have some really, really great information over from Ed Ross Jr. at the Daylight Company today for you. So uh, that was why we asked you a little bit earlier about what your lighting situation is like in your sewing space, because Daylight has a product for pretty much every situation you can think of. If you need lighting in a particular place, Daylight's got it for you. So enough talk for me. Let's go ahead and bring Ed Ross Jr. from the Daylight Company onto the stream. Hey, Ed, how's it going? Hi, Callie. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Can't complain. We got a nice, bright, sunny day here in New Jersey, and you know it's uh, it's starting to be a nice time of year again. Right, finally. Oh my gosh. Well, so um, Ed, so what what kind of stuff do you have for us today? Let's just jump into it. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. So we have a bunch of great lights that are all designed uh, to be very flexible and functional around somebody's sewing room. So. Um, I like to say we have a very versatile line of lights that are, allow people to use the lights in different ways that they normally wouldn't be able to with your standard end table lamp or desk lamp or ceiling lamp. So we've designed a whole line of task lamps that are driven for exactly that, the, the task at hand. Um, one of the big things that we do at Daylight is we specialize in LED lighting technology, uh, which really helps to add a big benefit to the, the integrity and the, the structure of a, of a lighting system. Uh, whereas with an old light, uh, old style light where you have the bulb, that bulb tends to burn out after a short amount of time. You have to make sure you're using the right wattages, otherwise you're going to blow the bulb out too soon. Whereas with the LEDs, they are constructed completely differently. Uh, and they're more similar to somebody's uh, cell phone screen, to give a, a very general example, where the lighting is in basically a little computer board and it emits a light. And then you use hundreds of different little LED diodes in the lamps to give them their overall brightness. But some of the really nice benefits that an LED lamp offers are the longevity of the lights, uh, the lifespan of the light. So with all of our LED lights, they are designed to last between uh, 40 and 50,000 hours of sewing time or use, however you're looking to use them at home. Which if you break that down, uh, then you're using the eight hours a day, five days a week, you're realistically looking at about 20 to 25 years of use from any one of the LED light sources behind me without ever having to go back, rechange the bowl, get replacement pieces, fix it up, whatever. They're, they are all designed to last. Another really nice benefit with the LEDs is they mitigate heat very well. So where your old traditional 100 watt light bulb, if you got too close to it after it's been on for a, uh, an hour or two, you can feel the heat radiating off of that light bulb and, and onto you. Whereas with like an LED light, you can touch them at all times of the day, no matter how long they've been on, how, how long you've been using them, they don't get hot. Uh, we have a very, a very special system designed into our lights to help reduce the amount of heat even more so. Uh, so that way, they're cool to the touch. You can touch the lights. They're actually part of the different features of a lot of the lights uh, to be able to twist, adjust, and angle the lighting in a different way so you can better position it on the task at hand. Uh, that being said, we're going to jump right into some of these awesome lights I have behind me here and how they can better help you at home when you're working, when you're sewing, when you're reading, when you're crafting, when you're doing whatever your favorite task is or whatever your favorite hobby is. Uh, that you like to do at home. Uh, so I'm going to bring some of my floor lamps forward here so we can all see them. So the three floor lamps here that I have in front of me are the slimline floor lamp over here. In the middle is the magnificent table and floor magnifier. And then we have our duo floor lamp over here. And I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. So you can see some of the features and benefits of each one of these lamps a little better. So I know with some of these uh, lamps are hard to see from a far distance away through my camera. So we're going to start with the slim line here. This is one of our most popular lights that we have. It has a brother. Uh, that's a table version back here. We'll talk about that one in a minute. Uh, but with the slim line floor lamp, they have a retail price of $275. And we're running a great special with all brands. Not only are we giving 
uh, doing a giveaway with them at the end of the show. But we're also going to be offering some very special pricing for, I think it's a, 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 a week or two. Callie, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, yes. um, so... Uh, so we do have a special show pricing. That's something I completely forgot to know, announce at the top of the show. Uh, we have some special show pricing. Um, I believe Barbara has gone ahead and linked our little category page of all of our show specials in the comments, both on Facebook and YouTube. Yep, there it is. Oh. Uh, and these specials will be going on until May the 4th. So that is two weeks from today. So shop those specials while you got time and, and I'll let you get straight back into it and if anyone has any questions for ed go ahead and drop them in the chat and we will try to answer those live yep uh, we want to answer as many questions today as we possibly can i know last time i was on here with you guys uh we, we did miss a couple questions because they were coming in so fast so we're going to try to get to all those questions we can today um but just like we were saying we are having some very special pricing so make sure you're going to all brands and checking out what the deals and promotions are uh, I know we're throughout this little broadcast, we're going to be popping up some images of some of our items so you can see the kind of pricing we're talking about right offhand. And I'm sure we'll start with the, the slim line pretty soon. Uh, but let me finish showing you here about some of the other details that go into this lamp that make it such a wonderful light for somebody who's sewing, who's quilting, uh, who needs a good reading table lamp, a lamp to go with the cutting table, or just a, a great all-purpose lamp to go around with your task, uh, your, your quilting and sewing studio. Uh, so you have a nice long light bar here. The light on it is 24 inches long, so a full two feet. Inside the light shade there are 96 LEDs. Uh, they are producing a natural daylight color, so it is a much more white light uh, than what you typically get with a, a fluorescent bulb or the old incandescent light bulbs, uh, to the point where we've been able to mimic the lighting of the actual sun, so that way it is as true of a white light as you could possibly find. The light shade itself does spin and rotate a full 360 degrees, so you're always able to keep the light shining on what you want and not in your own eyes. Then coming down here to the arm, we have a double gooseneck design in that, which allows for you to be able to bend and maneuver the lamp whichever way you want it to go. Wherever you're going to leave it is where it's going to stay and hold its position. Down here on the base, you can see the little button. That is your, obviously your power button to turn it on and off, uh, but it's also your dimmer switch. So with the slimline, you get four different levels of brightness to work with, depending on how much light you do or don't need throughout the day. Uh, so when you turn it on, it all, always goes to 100% brightness, and then it will dim down 25% until you turn the light off. A uh, nice small base. We have a question, Ed. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we've got a question from Joe on Facebook. Uh, Joe would like to know, do they have replacement light bulbs? Joe, that is a great question. Uh, we do not sell the replacement light bulbs uh, because with the LEDs, they do come with a two-year warranty to protect you on them. Uh, but the light uh, outside of any, you know, user error or, you know, something just freaky happening to it, you should never have an issue with the LEDs. They will last you that 20 to 25-year time span, depending on, you know, how often you're using it how frequently you're using it, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but part of the warranty does cover replacement pieces, which we do house in our warehouse. So if you did have an issue inside that warranty period, we can just either send you a whole brand new lamp or send you a brand new light bulb, depending on what the issue was uh, with that lamp. All right. Thanks, Ed. That's the only question we've got so far, so I'll let you get back into it. <laughs> well, thanks, Callie. And, uh, Joe, thanks again for the question. Uh, to show the bottom of the lamp here, one of the really nice features with it is the base itself. Now, typically with a floor lamp, you need to have a pretty thick, substantial base, which usually is about an inch and a half, two inches. We have an eighth of an inch base on our slimline floor lamp there uh, to really allow you to be able to you know, put it up against your couch, uh, tuck it underneath the edge of your couch, your chair, your table, uh, wherever you're working with it. So it really gives you some really good flexibility there with, with the slimline floor lamp. The next lamp I have here for you, and I'll fix the camera in just a second, uh, is our Magnificent Floor and Table Magnifier. Uh, so the Magnificent here is exactly what I said. It is a floor and table, and I'll show you that in a second. You're able to adjust the heighting of it just by uh, pulling it out of the base and removing some of the bars uh, or the poles that give it the height that it has now. Uh, you have a nice five inch magnifier. The magnifier is a 1.75 times magnif uh, magnification, 
uh, or a three diopter lens. You can see how the LEDs go about halfway around the ring of the lamp there. So that way it allows for you to get up nice and close right behind the magnifier. Uh, so you can really get close, especially when you're doing um, counted cross stitch or some other very small handworking projects where you need to be close to the magnifier. Uh, one of the things we do with the magnifiers is we cut them in a very special way uh, to help uh, alleviate any blurriness or any distortion in the magnifier there. So typically what we do is we start with a larger magnifier and we shave it down and down and down and down until it gets to that five inches. So that way uh, you don't have any blurred areas or distorted areas when you're working because that can cause some um, you know, eye strain, it can give you a headache over time if you're using a magnifier and it's not really giving you a crystal clear picture. You have your power button right here to turn the light on and off. You also have a nice 21 and a half inch gooseneck, so it gives you the ability to bend and maneuver the lamp however you need it to sit, uh, so that way you can better work with it and have it work with you better. Uh, but then you get down here to the base, and this little screw here at the bottom, if I can show you, all you gotta do is unscrew that piece back there. Once it's loose, you can just pull the pole right out of the base, the base stays behind, and then these poles, they twist apart. So I can take one piece off, I can take two different pieces off, uh, so you can you know, change the height of the lamp depending on how high you need it to be and where you work. So if you take both of the pieces out, you've effectively made yourself a tabletop magnifying lamp. Uh, then if you're sitting at a low chair and you need the magnifier, come on, I can play something here, there we go. Uh, you can put one of the poles back in. Once you screw that on, you can plug it again, right back in, and now you have a lower sitting magnifier here. Uh, we have, a, just like we have on all the lights, we have a great special on it. It's normally 145, so if you want to take advantage or you need a good magnifier, you can go uh, go to All Brands and check out the special pricing that they have there. Cool. Moving right along. The next lamp I have for you guys is our Duo Floor Lamp. Wow, we're getting a lot of great comments. I love seeing this. Keep them coming, everybody. So this is our duo floor lamp. I, I like to kind of call this one an intro level lamp. Uh, not so much because it's you know really cheaply made or anything. it's not cheaply made. It's a nice, well-made lamp, but it's got a lower price point and doesn't offer the same kind of brightness output as like the slimline floor lamp does over here. Uh, but it's a good lamp if you're looking to get into a really good quality lamp and not wanting to pay you know the super high prices that some of these lights that are out there cost. This is a great option for it. Uh, so it's normally $110. Again, you gotta go to All Brands and check out the special. You have two individual light shades. So you can move each one of these individual light shades depending on how you need it, where you need the light, uh, how far out and how spread apart do you need them. Not only that, but they do work independently of each other. So I can have one light on, one light off. Again, depending on your needs at the time when you're working with it. You do have a nice 16 inch gooseneck down here to allow you to bend, give you some nice reach. And I'll turn it on side so you can see just the kind of distance you can get with the lamp there. So you have about a good two and a half feet of space from where the pole is to where the lights are to be able to move and adjust the lamp to work with. A little bit different design on the base. So we saw with the base of the uh, Slimline floor lamp just how thin it is. And you can see here, it is a little bit thicker. So you got about an inch and a half on your base there. So it's not gonna slide as easily underneath the end of a, an end table or a cabinet or a couch, uh, but it will be able to sit still nice and snugly close to that area without creating too much space or an awkward angle or an awkward lie on the floor. Hey Ed, we have another question. Yeah. Um, so we have Cheryl on Facebook who wants to know, do any of your lamps have remotes? Uh, that's a great question. They do not, Michelle. Um, and it has to do with some of the technical issues with, the, with an LED. Because they're more similar to a, uh, like a cell phone or your TV screen in like the whole picture of it, um, 
the remotes tend to get a little funky over time with them. They'll start out working really, really well. And then as you get you know, on and on in the life of the lamp, that remote may or may not keep working. So we keep it very simple and keep it very easy. Uh, there are all power buttons on, on all the lamps and they do all come with a touch switch or a press switch. So it's one or the other uh, that you get to choose from there um, just to keep it simple and keep it very streamlined and easy to work with and use. And it looks like we've got a few more questions um, from some folks. Victoria wants to know, can you order another screw on section to make the magnifying one taller? Ooh, Victoria, that's a great question. Um, unfortunately, you cannot. Uh, we only uh, we only have the two pieces in there. Uh, but what I would recommend doing is checking for a used one on like Amazon that's you know beat the heck or somebody doesn't want anymore just to get that second pole. Because when you buy them in the box and brand new, it only comes with the two. Uh, but you can try to find yourself a third one out there if you're not looking to pay full price for a lamp. Um, but we don't offer or sell any additional pieces for that. And let's see, we've got a few other questions. Uh, Larry wants to know, what is the color temperature of the lights and why there seems to be some variations in the market? Larry, that is a great, great question. Uh, so the color temperature of all of my daylight lamps behind me are all between 6,000 and 6,200 uh, on what's called the Calvin scale. Now the Calvin scale just very generally ex uh, explains the the color or the color of the light. Uh, to give you an example, uh, if you lit a candle, your candle light is about a thousand on that uh, color, uh, that Calvin scale. Whereas, like blue, like if you look up at the sky during a sunny day uh, with no clouds in the sky, the blue light you see in the air that is more of a ten thousand uh, degree on the Calvin scale. So we found natural daylight on a twelve o'clock sunny afternoon or twelve o'clock noon sunny afternoon. Um, the lighting color to be about 6,000 to 6,200 uh, on that Calvin scan. We mimic all of our lighting to that exact temperature. Now for the variation, uh, it really comes down to the price point. To mimic natural daylight and really get a nice white lamp, a white light, uh, you're gonna pay a little bit more when you're manufacturing the pieces for that, uh, that kind of technology in the LEDs. So you'll find other LED products out there that will have a more of a fluorescent uh, fluorescent color where it's a little bit more like a mixture of like a, a yellow light and a white light. Um, you'll find other LEDs that are not full, true natural daylight. Uh, and it really just comes down to that price point there. You know, you know the, the more expensive the LED is for the manufacturer, the better the quality is, the better that manufacturer can play around with the lighting in there. So we've, you know, we use a very high quality, uh, lock, can't speak, a very high quality line of LEDs. So that way we can make sure when we're manipulating the colors and adjusting the colors to make it what we feel is natural daylight, we're able to do that. Awesome, and thank you so much for the insight. So I don't see any more questions, but y'all keep those questions coming. If you have a question, let's go ahead and try and answer them live. And remember, we are doing two giveaways this show. So we will have not only a $100 All Brands gift card, but we will give we will be giving away a daylight lamp. And I'm not going to tell you which one it is yet. You're just going to have to wait. Um, but we'll, we will be doing those two giveaways, um, and one of which we will be doing soon. So get those likes, those comments and shares in. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss this. And you know what's funny is I'm actually seeing some more questions. So let's see. Um, so Victoria was wondering, and the more diodes, the brighter light. Correct. Uh, so the more LEDs that you add into a lamp, effectively the brighter the lamp will come uh, or, or become. Uh, or you can also manipulate the amount of power that goes to the individual set of LEDs. Uh, so on all of our lamps, if you purchase one or if you have one, uh, you'll notice when you open it up and go to plug it in that the plug is not like your standard uh, vacuum plug where it's just a plug with the very small handle. It's got the uh, the adapter attached to it. So the reason that adapter's on there is to adjust the amount of power going from your wall socket to the LEDs for that brightness. So we can make the lights brighter just by changing that adapter. But what ends up happening, then you get a lot more heat buildup from the LED. So when you know, when somebody tells you that an LED is uh, no heat, they're kind of 
they're kind of true and they're also kind of lying to you. Uh, what they, what you're doing is you're lowering the power level from the adapter so that you're still getting a, a very high amount of light output from the individual lamps and from the, the, the LEDs, but you're also lowering the amount of power consumption and power usage. Uh, to give you an example there, with like our slimline table and floor lamp, uh, they use a total of 12 watts of energy. Uh, and that's coming, you know, and that's into a light that's producing an equivalent of 250 watts of light output. Uh, so you play around with those different levels there, and I'm not an electrical engineer, um, but you know, just by adjusting the, the amount of energy going to the product, you can raise or lower that light output. It's not always the safest to add more power to an LED lamp because you do risk the the chance of making those LEDs pop like popcorn. So, Ed, we are getting a few more questions. Oh, my goodness. Thank you all so much for the question. So, uh, Jermaine on YouTube is wondering, is there a magnifier that fits the Slimline 3 floor lamp? Yes, there is. It's uh, it's called our clip-on, uh, our Slimline magnifier, uh, magnifying arm. So, it's a little clip. It's going to clip right onto the arm of the lamp there, and it'll be on a 22-inch gooseneck with a 4-inch magnifier at the end. And I believe so, that's on your website uh, for, on all brands. There. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you would go ahead and go check out that category page we made specifically for this event, we have exclusive show pricing too on some of these products. So go take a look at that and shop around. Um, Denise over on Facebook is wondering what is the tallest tabletop lamp, not clamp on that's made? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, so Denise right now, we are in the process of developing a couple of new tabletop lamps that are going to be available later on this year. So currently I don't have really anything other than, um, you know, let's see here, like my Halo Go. So the Halo Go, it's got a nice uh, 14 inch arm here. So it gives you about 14, 15 inches of height by the time you get to the top of the magnifier. And it has a nice table base there. Uh, it is battery powered, so there's a built-in battery in the bottom of the lamp there. So you can see how it's plugged in. Or it's not plugged in, but still on. Uh, that battery will give you about eight hours of light before you have to recharge it. There are There is a battery indicator right here. So that will tell you how much battery power you do have left before you have to plug it back in and recharge it. Uh, the power button, as you can hear, is a click. So you have to press that button down so that way when you fold the lamp down, like so, uh, you can turn it off and there's no chance of it being turned back on. Um, if you don't want to wait, the other lamp I would recommend, and then this would be a two-piece uh, two piece, uh, lamp, because you're going to get the slimline table lamp in the box. It does come with the clamp. Now, typically what we, uh, mo the, what we do with most of our lamps is uh, make them as clamp-ons, and the reason for that is because it gives a lot more uh, flexibility uh, to the lamp as you're using it. So instead of having to worry about it tipping over or falling over on a bigger lamp, the clamp gives you more leverage to keep it positioned where it is and also allow the lamp to offer some different functions. Uh, but with the slim line, we do have this guy right here. Now this is a separate uh, piece that you can purchase it's called our slim line table base. And just as the name implies, it is the table base for the slim line. I guess my screw on my slim line has gotten uh, stuck here. <laughs> well, it pops out of the clamp, and then you'll be able to insert it right into the, the nose piece of the base there. So if I could unscrew my lamp and pull it out of the clamp there, which the this, this screw seems to have gotten a little stuck, um, I would be able to pull it out, insert it right into the center of the base, and you're going to have the ability to still be able to lay it completely flat without having to worry about it tipping over or falling over there. And just like with the slimline floor lamp, you do have the two goosenecks. You still have the light shade that swivels at 360 degrees, so you're able to keep it positioned where you want. With the slimline table lamp, this is one of the, the best lamps that we have, if not the best lamp that we have for working with your sewing machine. As if you can imagine your sewing machine sitting right here, all right? You can have this light right in front of your machine with no light coming into your eyes but all the light work right on the face of the machine, down on the throat, right on the needle point. You'll be able to position and get it closer. If you like to have the light coming from the back, you're able to adjust it that way. 
or if you're just needing some good ambient light to sit over, uh, the light shade, because of the way we've designed it, it does only get a very slight bit warm, uh, but I call it nothing more than like a hand warmer on a cold day. And just like the floor lamp, you do have those four different levels of light uh, to work with. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. And Joe and Julie over on Facebook, I hope that answered both of your questions. Joe, I know you were looking for a, uh, a lamp with a table clamp, and Julie was asking about the, um, the floor stand. Um, Joe was also wondering how wide the clamp can get. Yeah, so all of our clamps, they come at a standard size of two and three quarter inches wide. So the, the thickest table that you can attach it to uh, securely would be two and three quarter inches wide. Um, what the, like the slim line, the slim line's one lamp that we've done something a little bit different to. I can show you that real, real quickly here. So with the slim line, because it's been our most popular lamp, we added in a new feature to it. So because I'm struggling with clamps today, I'm just gonna show you up, uh, up here. So you can see how this clamp detaches from the base of the lamp there. So it's not officially sitting on the lamp itself. So this clamp, this little socket piece here at the bottom where the lamp sits in is removable. And at the bottom of that is a little hole. So we designed the new slim line so that way if you don't have a spot to clamp onto your table, you can take this little cylinder piece out of the clamp and they're taking a, a number 10 screw and be able to drill it right into your table to mount it on your surface that way. Uh, we do also offer other, um, other brackets and uh, attachments. So if you had something bigger like the, the Lumi or the Luminos, uh, we have a wall bracket attach attachment, which you'll be able to screw into the studs of a wall and have the, uh, the light mounted on your wall then. Uh, or a workbench mount that you're able to screw into a workbench and create a mount for it that way. So I would just like to point out, we have, I have a slim line here, right? Um, we use these in our broadcast room for every single time we do this live show. Y'all, I love the <laughs> slim line three so much. I love, I mean, it's, it's just a touch. Like you don't really have to do anything and you can see how bright that is. You, I mean, that's, I mean, that's one, only one setting too, which I think is great. Um, you know, and it's very adjustable, but normally we're using it for other, uh, other purposes than just like <laughs> just beaming down on my pale face. Right. Um, but you know, so I am, I just wanted to point that out that we use these in our broadcast room. I think that these are incredible um and so it looks like we don't have any other questions at the moment but i think it's time for us to go ahead and give away that 100 dollars all brands gift card um so y'all if you would definitely go ahead and get those likes comments and shares in if you're on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel and that will automatically enter you to qualify for our 100 dollars all brands gift card um, keep going and um, we will pull in just a few minutes. It looks like we just got a few more questions. Um, so we'll go ahead and answer those in the interim. Um, so Sue over on YouTube was wondering uh, which light has the brightest light for sewing. All right. So I want you to interact with us as I explain this, because there's a couple things that I need to know to figure out what you're looking for. Uh, because I can show you my brightest light that I have here, which is my, my Luminos. Now, the Luminos, it pumps out about 415 watts of comparable light. I say comparable because with LEDs, we're not measuring them in watts anymore. Watts is simply the term uh, that was given to the old incandescent light bulbs for how much energy they consume uh, while you were using them. Uh, but everybody knows exactly how bright a 100-watt light bulb is, so it's a very easy way to kind of describe the lighting there. Uh, so overall, this is our brightest lamp. Now, if you're looking for a lamp to go around like your cutting table, a large work area to, to just give you some more lighting while you're sewing, the Luminos or the Lumi would be great. The Lumi is a little, is not as bright as the Luminos. So you're going from about 415 watts to about 350. So they're both very bright lamps. Uh, but if you're looking for something more focused around your sewing machine, that's where I would recommend either the slimline floor lamp or the slimline table lamp because you can position them much closer to the surface of your machine 
without having the light being in your eyes. So it'll stay on what you're working on and not, you know, being in your own face. And because you're working in a much smaller, closer area, the lighting of the slimline is going to feel much brighter to you as you're working at your machine. Instead of having the overhead ambient light, having you know, a lumi reaching over top of your machine, uh, or just the lumino sitting up high and giving you some a lot of light that way. So if you're looking for more like your sewing machine, I would say go to the slimline table or the slimline floor lamp, depending on how your studio is set up. If you're looking for something to be more like around your cutting table, your ironing board, be very versatile to be able to use in around your sewing room, uh, but also offer just some ambient light for your sewing machine, then I would say, you know, go with the Lumi, go with the Lumino. So you're not going to be upset with either one that you go with, uh, but if you're, it's really about what area you're looking for more light. So a smaller, closer area, go with the slimline. Larger working area, go with either the Lumi or the Luminous. So I hope I was able to answer your question on that one, Sue. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, I hope that answered your question, Sue. And um, Zeta over, I think on YouTube, I hope that answered your question too about looking for a um, a lamp for over your long arm machine. Um, I think those are all really great recommendations. Um, we have another question over from Cindy. Yes, yeah, Cindy on Facebook. Um, Cindy wants to know what is the Kelvin range for the Illuminous? Great question. So the Kelvin range is really the color of the lighting. Uh, so all the lighting that we have is all standard at six between 6,000 and 6,200. Uh, so that's what gives us that white natural daylight the lighting uh, that we use. All right, y'all. So I think i think we do have a name for our 100 dollars all brands gift card um and let's see if we can get that commenter and that share or whoever it is oh jackie jackie congrats jackie uh, you just won a 100 dollars all brands gift card oh my goodness so jackie if you would uh please go ahead and give us uh send an email to events at allbrands.com with your name, um, your phone number, and your email address, and we will get that gift card out to you. Um, so if you just missed that giveaway, no worries. We will be doing another one. Um, and I think, um, I think I'll just go ahead and say what it is so, so y'all know what you're getting into, right? Um, so we will be giving away a Slimline 3 table lamp at the end of this video. So I know everybody was just talking in the comments about how much they wanted one of these. You have a chance to win one. Just watch until the end, keep liking, keep sharing, keep giving us those comments, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And we will be giving that away very, very soon. Um, so just as a brief overview, um, these are all of the, some of the lamps that we've been talking about. Um, if you are just jumping in and if you are, no worries. Please, you can come back and watch this whole broadcast once we go off the air. Um, but these are a few of the ones that we've been talking about, and these are some of our favorites. Um, so this is your Slimline floor lamp. Um, absolute favorite, I think, but among customers, this one in the table lamp. Um, but yep. I want to point out that we have special pricing. So you will be getting this lamp for $179.99, $179.99 for this lamp, okay? And that is a fantastic price. So if you want that price on this lamp, go ahead and pick it up between now and May 4th, 2021. Uh, the same goes for all of our show pricing that you will see on our website and our category page for this particular event. Um, we have also talked about the Slimline 3 table lamp, and that is the one we will be giving away at the end of the show. This is one that we use in our studio. It is a fantastic lamp. It is so versatile. Um, and we've also been talking just a little bit about the Luminous Task Lamp. Um, again, regular 415, you can get it on our website right now for $289.99. You do not want to miss out on this price and y'all, like, I'm, look at this. Um, and one of the other ones that we talked about a little bit, we briefly touched on it earlier, was the Halo Go. Um, this is a really awesome portable lamp and magnifier. It is also very, very versatile and it is 
really great for magnifying whatever it is you need, okay? This is regular, $130. You can get it on our site right now for $99.99. Y'all, the show pricing. Okay, pick one of these up before May 4th. We have some really great pricing, um, and thank you, Ed, for showing off and demonstrating all these awesome lamps. Um, so let's, let's keep going. If y'all have any other questions in the chat about anything else, Feel free to drop them in there and we will try to answer those live. Yep. Now's your time to ask me any questions you can think about for lighting. Uh, if I have the answer, I will let you know. Uh, or if I can even just help to steer you in the right direction for a, a particular area of your sewing room or your home, uh, your just home use uh, at all, just let, let us know. Uh, I can give you some really great recommendations on what will probably be the best option for certain spots in your house. Cool. Uh, so picking right up where we left off. Uh, the Halo Go again, I know we just saw it there, but uh, just to finish up with it really quickly, not only is it very lightweight and portable, it only weighs about two pounds in total. It does come with the charging cable there. You can see the plug at the back side to plug the light in to recharge it. The cord you get with the Halo Go is eight foot long, and you do get the wall adapter to be able to plug it into the wall, and it's a USB port, so you can plug it anywhere into a USB socket. Um, the magnifier itself, it's a 2.25 times magnif uh, magnifying lens, so it is stronger than the Magnificent, uh, but it's also smaller. So instead of having that 5-inch lens, you're at a 3-inch lens here. You do have a little, oops, over here, a little inserted uh, magnifier into the lens. What that's going to do is going to provide some extra magnification. So that little extra inset magnifier there is a times 4. So it's very, very powerful. It's really good for if you're trying to thread a needle that you can't see because you're using a very microscopic needle. Um, if you're trying to pull a splinter or just any small application of, uh, possible because of the way the light head works as well and how you can position it. So I can extend it out. I can even use this with my magnifier uh, or my magnifier with my sewing machine. So if you are having some trouble seeing some small intricate details while you're at your sewing machine, the, magnif uh, the Halo Go is a good option to be able to work with as well. Cool. So like you saw, it's normally 130. They have it on sale at, at all brands for 99.99. So make sure if you need a good magnifier, take advantage of that special right there. Yes. So we have a few more questions from folks on Facebook and YouTube. Um, Patty wanted to know how much are replacement bulbs. We talked about this a little bit earlier, but you may have missed it, Patty. So uh, and, I'll, I'll let you take it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Patty. Great question. Um, with all of our lamps, the, all the LEDs are all built in as part of the lamp. Uh, so only a very few of them that we have in offer are able to have a replacement piece. Uh, so something like the Luminos here, the whole light is built and constructed as one unit. So even though the LEDs are in the light shade there, you can't take the head off to replace them. But the way the LEDs are designed, they're designed to last you between 20 and 25 years of use if you're using the light eight hours a day, five days a week. So if you're not using it that frequently, you can expect a much longer lifespan from the LEDs. Uh, Cause with the LEDs, there's no filaments inside them. So there's no filament that can potentially overheat, uh, get old, get worn and eventually you know blow out on you. Uh, if you did ever experience any issues with an LED product, it's 95% of the time going to happen within the first two years of you using the product, which is why all of our lamps are covered with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Uh, just to protect you against any technical difficulties, issues, uh, problems with the lights right out of the box that you know are unforeseen at the time when we're building and designing. You know, sometimes when they're being transported to our, our warehouse, you know, bumpy roads, something's loose, so on and so forth, we'll take care of you right away within that two-year period. After that period, you should never ever experience any issues with your lamp whatsoever. Yeah, awesome, thank you. So we also have a question from Julie. Uh, Julie was wanting to know how long the charge lasts. I'm assuming she means on the Halo Go. The Halo Go, yes. So Julie, great question. Uh, with the Halo Go, when you have it plugged in, uh, or when you have it uh, not plugged in and using the battery, on high power, which is the top of the first setting that the light goes to, you'll get up to four hours of light of continuous consistent lighting without the lighting dimming or fading on you. If you dim it down to the lower level, you'll get up to eight hours of light on the battery charge. All right, so we have um, we have a few folks over in the comments wondering um, if you have a quilter to demonstrate today. By any 
Oh, man. I do actually have one. It's in my garage right now. I can go run down and, and grab it real quick, but it may take a, a few minutes. I was debating on bringing that one up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, let's save that. We can save that until the end of the show. I can go over the specials one last time, and then we can show the, uh, the quilt to for those folks that are wondering if, uh, if yeah. you've got the time for it, Ed. <laughs> if you have any specific questions until I can go get it uh, about the quilt, just put them in the comments section. When we get a chance, we'll pop them up and I'll answer them for you as you type them in. Yeah. So, and then we also have another question from Cheryl on Facebook. She's wondering, um, she has macular degeneration and cataracts and is wondering if one particular lamp would be better than another. Ooh. Cheryl, you're asking the tough questions. So when it comes to uh, macular and cataracts, it can be a, t a hard, a, a difficult answer for me to give because uh, it really comes down to what you're, what you're experiencing the most. Are you having issues with light? Do you need the light in the magnification? Uh, because if you are needing just the light and you don't think you need the magnification, I would recommend one of our slim lines. Uh, because of the way they're designed, they're designed for up close and personal work. And I know uh, with you know cataracts and um, and uh, I can't think now, uh, and macular degeneration, it's really about a light sensitive, more of a light sensitive thing. So you want to have a light closer to where you're working to be able to see uh, more clearly uh, and then just see better overall. Uh, so I would recommend uh, the Slimline floor lamp or the Slimline table lamp. My grandfather, uh, who had cataracts, he was using the floor uh, the floor lamp because it just was able for him to work well while he sat in his chair, played on his iPad, you know, read the newspaper. The light was nice and close. It doesn't get hot. It, he can angle it away so it's not in his eyes, but it's lighting up his paper, lighting up his iPad, or, or whatever he was doing sitting in the chair until he had his cataract surgery. Uh, so this one was his favorite. Uh, and I do have a lot of people who I've met at different shows who like the Slimline for that reason. Uh, but if you do feel you need some magnification to add to it, uh, I would also recommend maybe looking at like the, uh, the Magnificent over here, just because you'll get the lighting and you'll get the magnifier all in one unit. I hope I was able to, uh, to answer your question there. Yeah. Thank you so much for that question. Um, and we also have another question from Nora on Facebook. She wants to know, um, she needs one that'll light the needle area around her machine, anything above cast shadows. I would say go for the quilta, but I'm gonna leave it up to your professional advice, Ed. So is, uh, is Nora, the, the, did she ask about the quilta before? Um, no, we've actually had a couple of folks asking about the quilta in the comments. Gotcha. So Nora, yeah, the, if you're looking for your long arm, the Quilta will be a great lamp for that. Um, basically there's two handles that'll mount onto the foam handles of your long arm where your hands go uh, pretty much. And then it'll sit underneath the throat of the machine uh, and angle back you. But if you're looking more for like your home domestic sewing machine uh, and you're not looking for something like the Slimline or, um, you know, the Illumi or Illuminos, I do also have a sewing machine lamp. So this little lamp has a uh, comes with two of these, these 3M industrial strength ad adhesive st uh, pads. So you can attach it right to the head of the sewing machine. Then you have a nice eight inch gooseneck. So you can bend this lamp down and around uh, to shine right just at the needle point, at the foot, at the bobbin plate right there at the bottom of the lamp. And uh, it help will eliminate a lot of shadows that way. Um, or you can, you can look at the slim line as well. Once you get it positioned in front of your machine or basically between you and your machine, it's going to light up that whole surface area and you're never going to be bumping into it or, or seeing it. So instead of having one light for you know, that smaller area, uh, you have the slim line, which will give you light across your entire surface there. So, Ed, it looks like Nora clarified uh, in the comments. She said not for a long arm machine, but just for sewing and embroidery. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. I had a thought. So that's why I said, you know, you can look at the, the sewing machine lamp. This guy is a great little addition. It comes with, like I said, two of these sticky pads. And it mounts really simply so you can see the tracks and you can see the foot here or feet here. So it just slides in and out of that. Your second sticky pad, you can use it onto a second machine. So if you have your sewing machine and your embroidery machine right next to each other, if they're not the all-in-one model, uh, you're able to just unclip the light, move it over, clip it onto your next machine and, and keep going along with your business. You do get a nice long uh, eight-foot cord. So it's uh, always really easily able to be moved back and forth uh, from where you're working. 
All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for answering all those questions, Ed. Um, yeah, it sounds like we've got a lot of folks that are super excited about seeing that quilt in demonstration. We've got so many people excited to see it. Uh, Joe says he needs three of those. Um, I love it, Joe. You know, um, and Darlene is wondering how much. Darlene, I don't have a price right off the top of my head, um, but we do have a category page specifically for this virtual event. So we have some stuff that we have showcased here, some other things that we haven't gotten the time to showcase for today, but you can go take a look at on our website. Yep. All of these products have show pricing. So all of the ones in the category page um, that we've got up on the screen right now, that is all special show pricing and it lasts until May 4th. So you've got two weeks and uh, up until, or two weeks from when this live show is airing today on April 20th. Um, and it looks like, let's see, I'm trying to see if we have any other questions. So Stephanie wants to know, I'm assuming, as she's talking about the Quilta, um, she's wondering if it's adaptable to all long arms. Ah, uh, that is a great question. So it's not adaptable to lo all long arms. Um, when we first launched it about four years ago or so, was right about the time where all the big long arm companies started adjusting their handles to uh, the ergonomic adjustable movable handles uh, where we had designed that lamp to be more compatible with the stationary handles. So like the old bicycle horn handles, ram horn handles, whatever you want to call them, uh, where they came out and around and then sat in front of your machine right there. Uh, so we had designed the lamp to fit onto those. So some of the newer models of machines, they it's probably not going to fit on. But if you have something like, um, uh, I can't think of a certain model off the top of my head with the, uh, like, uh, the, uh, Oh, I can't think the the old handy quilter model or the older the the older style long arm machines that have those stationary handles it will fit on. Awesome, thank you so much for that, Ed. So um, let's see, we've got another question from Josie M. And then after we answer this question, I'll let you run down and get the quilter, and we can show off those um, our show specials one more time. I do um, have one more light to show too after this. Oh, week. perfect, perfect. So. Um, so Josie is wondering, in terms of brightness, how does the duo lamp with the lights together compare to the Slimline 3? Josie, that's a great question. All right, so with the, uh, the duo table lamp, uh, duo floor lamp, or the duo clamp on lamp, when both light shades are pushed together, you're going to get about 250 watts of uh, comparable light output. When you open those up and you make the T, uh, you're going to reduce that down to about 108, where with the slimline floor, the slimline table, those both are consistently 250 watts of light output. So they are the exact same brightness, uh, just when you have the light shades on the duos together uh, compared to being open. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's see. It looks like... We don't have any more questions. So Ed, I'll let you show that one last light and then we'll, uh, we'll go over the show specials again right after. Cool. Actually, uh, I'm going to show one quick thing on the Luminos here that I didn't talk about before. Because this is what I think really sets this particular lamp of ours apart from all the others that are out there. I want to make sure you guys can. Cool. So I don't know how well you can, can see it, but I'm going to move some more other lights here to get a better spotlight on it. You can see right up here at the head of the lamp. This is what makes this whole luminous very special. Uh, so typically when you have an articulating arm light, there's always a wing nut or bolt somewhere on the lamp that you have to loosen or tighten to get the head to adjust, the arm to adjust, uh, to, to move around as you go. So what we've done is we made the, uh, the articulating arm, which is this part here, uh, a friction hold arm, and we gave a friction neck joint to the head of the lamp. So what that means, when you want to move it, all you simply have to do is move, grab the lamp on one side of the shade or the other, adjust it to the spot you want it to go, spin it, twist it. There's no wing nut or bolt there to loosen to adjust the up and down angle. There's no wing nut on the arm itself to tighten it. So that way I can extend the lamp completely parallel to the table, to the floor, without ever worrying about it tipping over and falling down. So you can see back here where the clamp is and how the arm or the arm of the light sits out perfectly straight and still. 
Cool. So yeah, so the Luminos, if you're looking for a great cutting table lamp, a great lamp just to add more light to your sewing room, uh, the Luminos or the Lumi would be a fabulous option for that. The final lamp I have here today, it's one of my favorites. Uh, it is, well, it's actually a set of three, um, our wafer light boxes. So right here is the wafer two. Uh, I have three different sizes of the wafer light boxes. So this is the middle size. So the smaller size is about half of this light board. So it's uh, 12 and a half by eight. So you have a nice small surface that will fit a piece of paper. So if any smaller designs uh, that you're working on, our most popular size is the wafer two because it does seem to fit about 80% of the quilting and sewing patterns that are out there, especially if you're breaking it down into block patterns. Uh, and then we also have a bigger one uh, which is the wafer three, uh, which is the size of a full fat quarter. So if you take a fat quarter fabric and lay it out flat, it will cover the entire surface. And then there'll still be some light surface around the outside of that fat quarter fabric there. With the wafers, one of the great things I love about them is the durability of them uh, and the way they're constructed. So typically when you think of a light box, you think of, you know, plastic or metal frame with a light underneath it and then the light shining up, and now you have the, the top surface to work on. Well, we've taken that concept, and we've min minimalized it way down far uh, to be more, uh, more compatible with the LED technology. So you can see on the back here, I hope, yep, so you can see up here the one row of LEDs, down at the bottom, the other row of LEDs. So what we did is we took those two rows of LEDs, angled them into the, uh, to shine into the middle, Put a very special diffuser inside the surface there so it allows the light to consistently permeate through the whole board without having any different darker zones, uh, brighter zones, less bright zones, the whole nine yards. Uh, so you have an even consistent light surface to work on when you're tracing patterns, you're copying designs, if you're doing any applique projects, if you're doing any paper piecing projects. This is a wonderful tool to have at your disposal. Um, because we have so many people who have started using it over the, the years uh, for just that paper piecing, appliqueing, uh, we had a lot of requests for uh, being able to cut on it. And because the surface in the light box is made of plexiglass, you can't cut on it with a rotary cutter or an X-Acto blade without worrying and dam potentially damaging the surface of the light box. So what we did was we came out with two, uh, for the wafer two, two different translucent cutting mats that you can easily lay right over the top of the light box without having any big gaps or sizing, uh, but also still be able to see the light shine through the bottom of the cutting mat to the surface so you can work more effectively. And especially when you're paper piecing, this is a very nice tool to have because I can take my paper piecing pattern. If I have the wafer too, and I have the clear cutting mat, I can lay that paper piecing pattern right down on the mat underneath the cutting mat. And if you're strapped, uh, strapped for time, you can now see right through the cutting mat because that's still on there. Put your fabric right over top and be able to begin tracing your patterns and your pieces right from the paper to your fabric or just cutting them, uh, fussy cutting them right out. So it really makes paper piecing much more enjoyable than what it used to be. Uh, so you're no longer running back and forth between you know, your back window, your sliding glass door uh, to get the light you need to be able to trace your patterns. They are fully dimmable. So if you take your finger and go to the top right corner of the light box there and press and uh, just put your finger on the power button, you can dim the light source down. Now there is a memory setting built in as well. So when you dim it down, to a usable level of light for you, it's always going to stay at that level of light every time you turn it back on and off. If you ever unplug it from the wall, plug it back in, it will automatically reset that brightness back to the brightest level possible. Uh, but it gives you a nice option to be able to adjust the lighting depending on how much light you do or don't need, depending on uh, the fabric, what other material, you know, if you're working with uh, you know, a denser material, a, a lighter batik material. Uh, so it really gives you that benefit there. But then just to go back to the fact that it's made out of plexiglass, you guys can see it's still on. I can drop it on the floor. I can step right on top of it and not worry about 
cracking the surface of the light boxes. I'm not saying for you at home to do that with your own personal light boxes uh, or your own wafers, but it just gives you that peace of mind to know that if you were transporting it to, you know, let's say an upcoming uh, English paper piecing class at all brands, uh, then, you know, something happened, it fell out of your bag, you dropped it while you're walking in, you don't have to worry about it breaking on you very easily. Yes. Oh my gosh. These guys are so sturdy. I remember, I don't know if y'all were, uh, if any of, if any of you at home were here for the quilt festival, but I remember Ed, we were talking about the slim line. I think he took the top of the, like, <laughs> apart and then just like banged it on the table. <laughs> yeah. And I, was, I remember sitting there like, oh my gosh, they can do that. Oh, wow. Um, so it looks like we have a few more questions from some folks. Um, Oh my gosh, I love all of these questions that y'all are y'all are hitting this way right now. Um, so Beth, I'm assuming she was either talking about the Lumi or the Luminos. Um, she wants to know what the height and width of either one of those are. I think this was a while back. So yep, Beth, uh, you're know. still there. Uh, just update us uh, if you were looking at the Lumi or Luminos. Uh, but I'll tell you uh, both of those sides. So with the Luminos versus the Lumi. At their highest points, you can see that there is a height difference. So you're going from a 44-inch arm to a 40-inch arm. So it is a low, uh, it is a different height uh, on there. So it gives you different uh, amounts of reach and uh, the reach from the clamp. Uh, that I can't speak anymore. It gives you a different amount of reach for each one. Uh, the Luminos is because it's, it is taller and it has a larger light shade. It's going to give you a wider spread of light. So under under directly under the light. Six feet wide by four feet deep will give you 100% of the light output uh, and power, and then it will begin to dim down as you get further and further away from the light. With the Lumi, it'll give you a five foot wide by three foot deep section at 100% power, and then again, begin to taper away as the light spreads, for, as you get further and further away from the light source. So it looks like we do have a few more questions from some folks. Um, Nancy, or was it Nancy? No, it was Victoria who was wondering, is the warranty the same? And I'm assuming, I think she was talking about the um, that wafer too. Yep. Uh, so the wafers, the slim lines, the luminos. And if you were to go to our website and look at any one of the uh, the lights that we sell in total at a, uh, from the Daylight Company, they all come with that two-year warranty uh, to protect you guys of anything happening that was not your fault. Okay. Awesome. And so um, I know uh, Patty was wondering how big the wafer two is. We have three different sizes, but how big is that two? Uh, so the wafer two is 12 and a half by 17 for just the working surface. Uh, for the wafer one, it is 12 and a half by, oh, I'm sorry, 12 by eight and a half for the working surface. And then for the wafer three, it's 23 and a half by 17 and a half for the working surface. All right, awesome. Well, it looks like we don't have too many other questions. So Ed, I'll let you go get that quilto. We can talk about it and then we'll just go ahead and do the Slimline 3 giveaway uh, after we see that quilto. I know everyone's super excited about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll go over those show specials. I'll let you grab that and we will be, we'll be here when you get back. <laughs> Sounds good, I'll be right back. Awesome. All right, y'all, so I hope you've been enjoying this demo of all of these awesome daylight lamps so far. Um, if you are just coming in or if you came in a little late, no worries at all. Um, we will be able, or you'll be able to watch these as soon as we go off the air. You can watch them on Facebook and on YouTube. And um, we have been getting a lot of questions lately about how long these videos are going to be up for. They're gonna be up for, forever and ever amen we don't plan on getting rid of them anytime soon so we have an entire backlog of classes of virtual events like we've been doing today um, and a bunch of other stuff that you can go ahead and check out either on our youtube channel or our facebook um, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss when we go live. Uh, if you do subscribe, click that bell so you'll be notified every time we go live or post a new video. Um, and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and give us a like on Facebook. Um, doing that will also give you a, uh, an entry will qualify you for that Slimline 3 uh, table lamp giveaway that we'll be doing very, very shortly. 
Um, so Darlene was wondering allbrands.com. Yes. So allbrands.com, it's all brands corporate on YouTube. And if you go to Facebook, it is all brands 1976. Um, but if you search all brands corporate over on YouTube, you will be able to find us there. Um, Stephanie is wondering how long the sale will go on for. Stephanie, you have until May 4th for all of the sale pricing on our category page for this event. Now that category page is linked uh, above this video and it is also linked in the, uh, in the description box over on our YouTube video as well. Um, Marva, we do offer virtual classes. So um, we do some virtual lives and we do these every Tuesday and Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. So if you are curious about maybe, um, we've been offering a lot of luminaire classes recently. We've also been just talking about embroidery, all this other good stuff. We have a lot of really amazing shows coming up. Um, you know, it can be classes, it could just be general information at a virtual event like today. Um, anything, anything and everything, but y'all go ahead and hop onto our website and go check out those sale prices. They are absolutely wonderful. Um, so I think, um, I believe Ed is back. So let's bring Ed back. All right. Yeah. So everybody's super excited to see that quilt. So let's take a look at it. Cool. So I'm going to show you the box first, just cause it really helps to visualize what I was talking about of how it sits. So you can see here, that uh, it clips on to the back of your ram horn handles uh, and it'll have a two gooseneck arms that extend back from both of those handles and then run underneath. So the, both those goosenecks are about eight inches long. So be able to reach behind the head of the uh, head of the machine there. So you can see your needle right here. The light bar will sit back there. And just like the slim line, that light shade is positionable. So you're able to adjust and angle it uh, depending on how you need it to sit. So I'll pull it out of the box. Um, so Sue is wondering if the bulb in the little small stick on lamp is replaceable. Ed, while you're opening that box, do you, do you know the answer to that? For the uh, sewing machine lamp? Yes. Uh, it is not replaceable. Yeah, it is LED powered as well. So like we've been talking about for the other lamps, it's going to last it's going to last you a pretty darn long time. So I don't think you will have to replace it. Um, and just remember that Daylight does have that to your warranty. Um, so I don't think that you'll have to worry about replacing a bulb. Um, yep. Marco was also wondering if we can, if you can watch our classes um, after 5 p.m. Yes, all of our virtual classes and stuff like that that we have been doing for the All Brand Show are all available for replay. Um, so we'll go check out our YouTube channel or our Facebook page, and you can go back and see the entire backlog. Y'all, we have so much stuff. Um, and Josie is also wondering, uh, will that fit a Cunique 15R? I'm assuming that means um, the the quilto that you're talking about right now. Yeah. Uh, Josie, if it has the handles similar to the, uh, the picture on the box I just showed you, then yes, it will fit and it will mount. Um, and so inside the packaging of this, there's a couple of things that it comes with. So you have this little plastic bag inside the packaging and you'll have what feels like two felt rubber uh, pads. So if you have an, uh, a machine that doesn't have the foam handles on them already and they, it goes right to the, the bare metal, you have to wrap those foam pads around just to uh, secure a better hold uh, with the lamp. So just to give you guys an idea, here is the mounting piece. So this part here, it curves inwards. So that's where you're going to stick onto the back of the arm. Then your strap's gonna wrap around, it's gonna clip in, and you'll be able to close it and tighten it down just pulling the strap over here. So once you pull that, it locks it down, locks it in place. You can see how it closed down right there. Take the take it out, flip the switch, and you're good to go. So the lamp itself comes in the three pieces. So you have your light shade. The one end with the little plug on it goes into the end with the cord. Plug it together, take the other end, attach it on the other side. Now you have your quilta. It's ready to be mounted. Uh, with the quilta, it does come with a very long cord. So this is the longest cord that we put on any of our lamps. It's 20 feet long. So that way, no matter how big of a frame you have, 
you're going to still be able to reach the wall, uh, the plug. Uh, inside the packaging as well, you get these little clips. So these are meant for your wire clips. Uh, so you can put them onto this, uh, uh, the arm of your long arm, down the back of it, uh, so that the, the wire stays clipped in place as you're moving the machine back and forth, back and forth. Awesome. Um, so it looks like we don't really have any other questions about the quilt. Everybody was just curious to see how it works. Um, so in the meantime, um, y'all, I think it's time for that giveaway for the Slimline 3. Um, we've been going for over an hour now, so it's almost time for us to wrap the show up. Um, so we're going to go over all of those show specials one more time. But in the meantime, please get those likes, comments, and shares and subscribes in so you can be in the running for that Slimline 3 table lamp. So let's look at the um, let's look at the slide for that Slimline 3, the table lamp again, just so you can see what you're getting here. Y'all, this is a $215 lamp. And if you win this giveaway, you're getting it for free. But if you just want to go ahead and purchase it, if you end up not winning the giveaway, it's only 140, it's $149.99 right now. I think that that is absolutely an incredible price. We have some fantastic show pricing on some other lamps uh, as well. Um, so it looks like, let's see, let's go take a look at the Slimline 3, the floor lamp. We also have the floor lamp. Um, that is a regular 275 lamp that you will be getting for $179.99 if you shop and pick this up in the next two weeks. Um, some other ones that we talked about today were the, uh, the Halo Go. Um, I love this lamp. It is so portable. It's rechargeable. Um, but you can also, um, oh, excuse me, um, it's rechargeable. I absolutely love this lamp. Um, and for our show special, you were getting it for $99.99. Uh, some other cool ones that we talked about today are the Wafer 2 light box. Y'all, this light box, you can really just put this thing through the ringer. Um, it is incredibly durable. It is an amazing light box and it's so useful. Um, if you do want a bigger or a smaller size, we do offer the Wafer 1 and the Wafer 3 as well on our website. Um, and those are both also offered at show pricing for the next two weeks as well. The Wafer 2 is only $250 right now. You got it. Get in on this, please. These are some amazing specials that you're not going to see again anytime soon. Um, and finally, we have the Luminos Task Lamp um, that you guys saw a little bit earlier. This is a really, really incredible lamp. It's very wide, uh, which is something I really like about it. And I do really love the table clamp that it comes with. Um, so those were just a few of our specials today. And if you would like to, you can go ahead and check out our website. This is allbrands.com. This is our category page for this virtual showcase. You can go back and watch what you missed over at the top of the page right here. And then if you scroll down just a little bit more, we have all of our show pricing, all of it. And we have some really, really awesome things that we have on sale today. So please go ahead and shop allbrands.com. Check out our category page for this. It is linked in the Facebook, in the description of this video uh, on YouTube and in the description on Facebook as well. So I think that just about does it for today. Uh, but let's announce the winner for our Slimline 3 lamp. It seems like we got a bunch of comments in there. So um, let's see if Jordan has a name for us. <laughs> that is not the name. But thank you so much for being with us, <laughs> Nancy. Oh my Nancy. goodness. Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. You have won a Daylight Slim Line 3 table lamp. You guys, these lamps, look at these. They are amazing. I love them. We use them. They're great. Uh, you have just won this lamp from us. So please, if you would, go ahead and email events at allbrands.com. Give us your name, your phone number, and your email address, and we can go ahead and get that lamp out to you. Oh my goodness. Congrats, Nancy. That's so exciting. Um, so I think, I think that just about does it for today. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for coming today, Ed. Everyone, this has been a really fantastic presentation. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, inviting me to do this virtual show with you guys. And I'm glad I'm able to help, uh, you know, 
give my not my knowledge and information on all these wonderful lights to, to anybody who's in need of them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that just about does it for today. Remember, everyone, please go ahead if you haven't already, like us on Facebook and make sure you've got notifications turned on for us so that way you can see when we go live next. Uh, and please subscribe to us on YouTube and click that bell once you do subscribe to us. That way you can see every single time we go live or upload a brand new video. Um, and with that said, please go ahead and shop on our website as well. We have some really fantastic uh, show specials for Daylight that are only going to last until May 4th, 2021. So that is two weeks from the broadcast of this show today. Um, and so that said, uh, thank you all so very much for tuning in. Come see us again on Thursday. We'll be talking with Cindy Hogan uh, from Brother, and we will see you then. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.